Was that helpful? Yeah, yeah that was good. Yeah, yeah, extremely yeah, helpful. Yeah. Back here on Friday. Yeah, you were oh, coming. Yeah, Nessie. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. we haven't been back since our first one. Oh. So we want to just reabsorb all that. I've got a feeling this is going to be a, a big Nessie this weekend. Sean, it's just not appropriate for you to come in here and confess your love for me when my wife is just sitting right outside but my office. That's why I'm talking really quietly. <laughs> on that note. <laughs> He's f***ing out here. <laughs>
I'm completely me. And I think there's still a part of me that is still turned on, uh, a little bit hyperactive. And maybe that's what's needed for this environment to really engage people. If you are caught on point of sale, not saying these words, would you like fries with that? If you get caught three times not offering the upsells, do you know what happens? You, be you become dismissed. And on average, 33% of people <coughs> who are offered the fries take it. Then 33% of the 33% who are offered the drink take it. Just the upsell strategy is a multi-billion dollar strategy. Before I get started, I have to say, Chris has got to be the luckiest person in the world to be involved in this community at that age. Can you imagine, oh, 20, 20 years can you imagine at 20 years of age being involved in something like K2 Elite? Like just imagine being 20 years of age and coming to an event like this. Yeah. Oh my God, that's a game changer. Thank you so much, buddy. Make sure you sleep well and you have dreams of playing. And when you wake up, I'll be there, okay? But for the next 30 days, I want you to commit to giving your very best and giving absolutely everything you possibly have and putting absolutely everything you have into the tools that you just learned and applying them and implementing them for the next 30 days. Are you willing to commit to that? Yes. You have the privilege of being an entrepreneur and as being an entrepreneur comes with a massive responsibility. Being an entrepreneur means you are a leader. Whether you like it or not, whether you choose to be a leader or not, you are a leader. Which means you are visible, not just to your friends, to your family, but to your entire community. You were clear on your purpose. You were inspired by your mission. You were guided by your values. And you were able to give absolutely everything that you had, not because you had to, because you fucking loved it. Imagine a world where you love working hard. And now, stay standing if you're willing to commit to do everything within your power for the next 30 days. And if you don't, at the end of 30 days, you will eat a can of dog food on film, post it on YouTube, and share it on Facebook for everyone to see. If you're not willing to do it, sit down. Because you know what's interesting? is when I do this exercise, there's normally always a few people that just go, <laughs> they were already tasting the dog food before the challenge even begun. The reason that most people struggle to make a commitment like this is because they know that what's this, how's this going to be different? I've made commitments like this before and every time I do it, I just let myself down. Now if you let yourself down, it's going to taste a lot like chum. wife used to be really heavily involved in my business and um, it got to the point where we had to make a choice <laughs> did I want to did I want a talent member or did I want a wife <laughs> so.